A rare visitor from deep space is in fact racing through our solar system and it's breaking records on the way. Scientists have confirmed that the third ever interstellar object, named 3I Atlas. In the summer of 2025, astronomers were confronted with an unexpected spectacle. A mysterious traveler, later named 3I Atlas, was detected cutting through the solar system with astonishing speed. Unlike the countless comets and asteroids that orbit the sun in predictable ellipses, this body originated from far beyond, marking it as only the third confirmed interstellar object humanity had ever observed. Its sudden appearance was both a scientific boon and a humbling reminder of the vast, unpredictable cosmos beyond. The discovery occurred on July 1st, 2025, when the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile identified the peculiar object at a distance of about 4.5 astronomical units, slightly beyond Jupiter's orbit. At first, it was thought to be another comet drifting in from the Kuiper Belt or Oort cloud, yet orbital calculations quickly dismantled that assumption. The path traced by the object was not elliptical, not even parabolic, but strongly hyperbolic, meaning it was moving too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity. It had not originated within the solar system and would not remain. Instead, it was passing through on a one-time journey before vanishing forever into the interstellar void. This unusual trajectory immediately drew comparisons with two earlier interstellar visitors. The first, Oumuamua, had astonished astronomers in 2017 with its elongated, tumbling form and mysterious lack of cometary activity. The second, Comet 2I Borisov, discovered in 2019, had resembled a classic comet, streaming dust and gas in familiar fashion. 3I Atlas, however, promised to surpass both in terms of speed, eccentricity, and potential scientific value. Where Muamua had seemed asteroid-like and Borisov had behaved as a conventional comet, this new object combined unexpected extremes, leaving researchers scrambling to gather data before it slipped back into interstellar space. Once orbital parameters were refined, scientists realized just how extraordinary this traveler was. Its orbital eccentricity was calculated at roughly 6.1, an astonishing value that dwarfed the eccentricities of both Oumuamua and Borisov. Its velocity exceeded 210,000 kilometers per hour, roughly 130,000 miles per hour, making it the fastest known interstellar interloper ever documented. Such speed implied that the object had wandered unbound through the galaxy for billions of years, before fate directed it near Earth's neighborhood. Once inside the solar system, its immense velocity ensured that it could never be captured. It was destined to fly past the sun once, never to return. Astronomers wasted no time deploying the world's most powerful instruments to study the newcomer. The Hubble Space Telescope, along with observatories on Earth, turned their gaze toward the faint streak in the sky. On July 21st, Hubble delivered a striking image, a blurred core wrapped in a teardrop-shaped halo of gas and dust, unmistakably resembling a comet's coma. The object was shedding volatile material into space as the sun's warmth began to awaken it. Early estimates suggested that the nucleus might be as large as 20 kilometers across. Later refinements, based on more precise imaging from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, reduced the size to about 10 kilometers, still larger than Oumuamua and comparable to Borisov. Even at its revised dimensions, 3I Atlas ranked among the most massive interstellar objects ever spotted. Its scale alone promised valuable insights. But it was the detection of water vapor and oxygen emissions at a distance of three and a half astronomical units that truly astonished researchers. In the solar system, most comets remain inert until they approach much closer to the sun. That 3I Atlas was already active so far out suggested a volatile-rich composition, possibly formed in very different galactic conditions from those that shaped our own comets. Tracing the object's motion backward through space, astronomers determined that it likely emerged from the Milky Way's thick disk, a component of the galaxy populated by older stars and ancient debris. Its motion indicated it was traveling away from the galactic center and upward through the galactic plane, both characteristic of thick disk bodies. Age estimates range between 3 and 14 billion years, meaning 3I Atlas could easily predate the solar system itself. If true, this made it not only the fastest and most eccentric interstellar body ever discovered, but also one of the oldest objects humanity had ever laid eyes on. The possibility of gazing upon a fragment older than the sun itself captured imaginations worldwide. Here was a relic from another time, forged in distant conditions, wandering silently across the void until chance carried it through our skies. As with Oumuamua, 
speculation about its nature quickly spread beyond conventional science. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb and his colleagues suggested that certain features, the bright appearance, the large size, the unusual chemical signatures, and the remarkable alignment of its orbit with the solar system's ecliptic plane, could point toward an artificial origin. Was 3i Atlas a probe launched by another civilization? The idea was bold and controversial, sparking a storm of debate across the scientific community and headlines in the media. Skeptics were quick to counter. There was no need, they argued, to invoke extraterrestrial technology. The comet displayed perfectly natural behaviors. Outgassing, dust emission, a growing coma and tail, and spectral signatures of water vapor. All these characteristics align with what would be expected of a natural object. Most researchers agreed that, while the artificial hypothesis was intriguing, the evidence overwhelmingly supported a cometary identity. Still, the very fact that such speculation found traction highlighted the fascination surrounding this cosmic visitor. Amid the debate, astronomers moved to reassure the public of one critical fact. 3i Atlas posed no danger to Earth. Its closest approach would be about 1.8 astronomical units, roughly the distance between Earth and Mars. Though it would skim closer to the sun during late October 2025, it would never come near enough to collide with our planet or exert any harmful influence. Its perihelion, the point of closest approach to the sun, was calculated to occur around October 29th or 30th. During this brief window, the comet would brighten, becoming easier to observe, before fading again as it retreated into the dark. For scientists, the event represented a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study such a body up close. The implications of the discovery were profound. Each interstellar object serves as a natural probe into the composition and evolution of distant planetary systems. Oumuamua had challenged assumptions about interstellar debris, looking less like a comet and more like a shard of rock. Borisov had resembled a textbook comet, rich in ice and dust. 3i Atlas combined traits of both, yet added new surprises with its extreme eccentricity, immense speed, and unusual chemical activity. Astronomers hoped that detailed observations could help unravel fundamental questions about what kinds of material form in other star systems, how such bodies are ejected into interstellar space, and whether they might play a role in distributing organic compounds and water across the galaxy, seeding young planets with the ingredients for life. By tracking its brightness, tail structure, and gas emissions, scientists could refine models of cometary physics, especially under the unique conditions of interstellar origins. Further monitoring revealed that 3i Atlas rotated with a regular period of about 16 hours. Its light curve displayed subtle fluctuations in brightness, about 0.3 magnitudes, suggesting an irregular surface or varying reflective features. These details hinted at a rugged, scarred body shaped by billions of years drifting through space. As it crept closer to the sun, its coloration shifted toward red, likely due to the release of dust and the exposure of irradiated organic material. This gradual change suggested that sunlight was peeling away outer layers and revealing older, deeper chemistry that had been locked away since the earliest days of the galaxy. More puzzling still was the fact that the comet exhibited activity far earlier than expected. Archival records revealed faint signs of outgassing as early as May 2025, when it was still more than six astronomical units from the sun. In the solar system, most comets remain dormant at such distances. This premature activity raised new questions. Was water vapor escaping directly from the nucleus? Or was it being released by icy grains suspended in the coma? Some theorists suggested that cosmic radiation may have built a crust of irradiated material on the surface, suppressing outgassing until deeper layers warmed. Others argued that exotic forms of ice, such as amorphous water ice, could account for the unexpected sublimation at great distances. Either way, the behavior of 3i Atlas defied expectations and demanded new explanations. As the comet drew near to the sun during the late summer and fall of 2025, excitement mounted across the astronomical community. Observatories worldwide coordinated efforts to capture every possible detail of its passage, from Chile's high deserts to Hawaii's mountain peaks. Telescopes tracked its faint glow against the night sky. Amateur astronomers joined the effort too, hoping to glimpse the rare visitor through backyard equipment, though its distance made it a challenging target except under pristine conditions. During early September, 
Enhanced imaging confirmed a faint but distinct tail trailing behind the nucleus. The tail extended over thousands of kilometers, a thin streamer of dust being dragged away by the solar wind. Unlike Borisov, whose tail had appeared broad and diffuse, the tail of 3i Atlas seemed narrower and more concentrated, perhaps due to the particle sizes of its ejected dust. Spectroscopic analysis detected not only water vapor, but also carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and hints of more complex organic molecules. This finding thrilled planetary scientists, as it suggested that interstellar comets might carry chemical inventories resembling those in our own system, strengthening the argument that the raw materials for life could be scattered widely across the galaxy. The most breathtaking data arrived in mid-October, just weeks before perihelion. Instruments aboard the James Webb Space Telescope, peering at infrared wavelengths, captured the warm glow of the nucleus through its dusty shroud. Webb's precision revealed compositional fingerprints that ground-based observatories could only approximate. Methanol, ammonia, and formaldehyde appeared in the spectra, organic compounds known to play roles in prebiotic chemistry. For many researchers, this was the heart of the matter. Interstellar comets like 3i Atlas might act as couriers, carrying such molecules between star systems. If they occasionally collided with young planets, they could deliver the seeds necessary for complex chemistry and, potentially, life itself. Yet, even amid the thrill of discovery, puzzles persisted. Why had its orbit aligned so closely with the plane of the solar system? Statistically, one would expect a random orientation for an object entering from interstellar space. The odds of it matching the solar system's tilt by chance seemed small, though not impossible. Some speculated that gravitational interactions with the giant planets might have subtly shifted its trajectory, aligning it with the ecliptic as it approached. Others leaned toward coincidence, reminding skeptics that billions of interstellar wanderers crisscross the galaxy, and occasionally one will appear to take a familiar path. Still, whispers of artificial origin lingered in fringe discussions, even as most scientists agreed that the natural explanations remained strongest. By October 29th, the day of perihelion, 3i Atlas reached its brightest apparent magnitude, glowing faintly in binoculars under dark skies. To the unaided eye, it remained elusive, a dim blur against the stars, but in telescopes, the sight was haunting. A glowing core, a gossamer coma, and a tail stretched thin across the heavens. For a brief span, humanity had a direct line of sight to a relic forged in another star system, older than Earth itself, blazing under the light of the sun before resuming its eternal journey outward. Photographs circulated worldwide, fueling awe and reflection. In the weeks that followed, the comet began its retreat. Its orbit carried it steadily outward, accelerating toward the edges of the solar system. Though it would remain observable for months with professional equipment, its brightness diminished quickly after perihelion. For most, its passage had been a fleeting encounter, a cosmic hello and goodbye. Yet the data gathered in that short time would keep scientists busy for years to come. Among the most striking revelations was the comet's stability. Whereas Oumuamua's tumbling motion suggested a fragment of something larger, and Borisov showed signs of fragmentation near perihelion. 3i Atlas remained intact throughout its passage. Its solid, enduring nucleus pointed to a sturdy internal composition, one capable of surviving billions of years of cosmic radiation and interstellar collisions. This resilience added another layer to the mystery. How had such a body remained so well preserved over eons? And what did that imply about the birth environments of similar objects? In early November, astronomers announced preliminary findings suggesting isotopic ratios within its gas emissions that differed slightly from those typical of solar system comets. These differences, though subtle, hinted at chemical pathways unique to its star of origin. While the exact birthplace of 3i Atlas could not be pinpointed, models suggested it had likely been ejected from a planetary system during the chaotic early days of formation when gravitational interactions among young planets and debris often flung countless icy bodies into interstellar exile. Over billions of years, it had drifted silently, untouched by any star's gravity, until now. The philosophical implications were profound. Here was a messenger from an unknown system, perhaps once orbiting a star that had long since died or drifted far across the galaxy. The comet carried within it a memory of that distant birthplace, locked in its ice and dust. For humanity, 
To study it was to extend awareness beyond the narrow confines of our solar system, to peer across light years of history and matter. Each measurement, each spectrum, each photograph became a thread linking us to the wider cosmos. By December, attention turned to the future. With three interstellar objects now recorded in less than a decade, some astronomers began to argue that such events were not as rare as once thought. Improvements in survey technology, especially with instruments like the Rubin Observatory, meant humanity was now better equipped to spot these faint wanderers. If three had been observed in less than 10 years, it was plausible that many more were passing unnoticed. Some theorists estimated that billions of interstellar objects might populate the galaxy, drifting silently between the stars. The idea sparked renewed interest in missions capable of intercepting or rendezvousing with such bodies. Concepts like NASA's Comet Interceptor, originally designed to await and pursue an as-yet undiscovered comet, gained new urgency. Private space companies floated ambitious proposals to develop rapid response spacecraft that could launch within months of discovery. The window for intercepting an interstellar object was narrow, but the scientific rewards could be extraordinary. A close-up study of material forged under alien conditions. While 3 Atlas would be long gone before any such mission could be prepared, it served as a proof of concept and a call to action. As the year closed, 3 Atlas was already fading from popular attention. For most, its passage had been just another piece of astronomical news, quickly overshadowed by terrestrial concerns. Yet for scientists and enthusiasts, it remained unforgettable. It had been a brief encounter with the wider galaxy, a momentary glimpse into the deep history of stars and planets beyond our own. Its tail had shimmered against the void for only a short while, but the legacy of data it left behind would ripple through research for decades. There was something poetic in the thought, an object billions of years old, wandering for billions more, had happened to pass by a small planet where a young species of observers had just developed the means to notice it. Across the eons, three Atlas had been indifferent to its journey, yet for humanity, its passage was a reminder of both insignificance and connection. We are small, yes, but part of a much larger story written in the dust of stars and the ice of comets. If you found the story of this interstellar traveler fascinating, consider sharing it with others, sparking curiosity in friends and communities alike. Like, share, and subscribe to stay connected with the unfolding tales of the cosmos. Because the universe always has another story to tell, and the next one may be even more extraordinary.